Good morning. What's happening, guys? You guys have tuned into Rules for Rebels. It's Sunday morning. Uh, I've been getting a lot of emails lately from people wondering how to run certain kinds of deals on their Shopify store. You know, somebody might say, hey, I'm, I'm wondering if there's a way to where if people spend, you know, $75 on my store, they get this free gift. Or I want to have a deal where if somebody buys an item from this specific collection in my store, I want to give them this free gift. Or I want to give uh, an upsell. Um, or I want to do a BOGO deal, or I want to do a BOGO 50% off deal. Um, and one of the best apps that I found for doing this is an app called Ultimate Special Offers. So uh, kind of the purpose of this video, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a walkthrough through the Ultimate Special Offers app. Uh, we'll talk about some of the pros or some of the upsides to this app. We'll talk about some of the cons, some of the downsides, and some of the troubles that I've had with this app. I've been using this app for probably the past I don't know, year and a half, maybe. Um, and then we'll also just talk about, you know, different sale, different types of sales that you might want to run on your Shopify store. Uh, this is actually, I haven't really promoted this much, but I created a little Shopify guide. It's called creating Shopify product pages that sell. Um, and in this guide, we talk about, you know, copywriting and how to write, you know, things that sell. And we kind of go into all the elements that a product page, uh, should have. So, uh, you know, in the elements of the product page, we talk about uh, titles, about descriptions, about meta titles and metadata, meta descriptions. Uh, we talk about like how to structure uh, a product listing. I, I give you kind of like my template of, of how I structure product listings. And then in one of the sections of this, we actually talk about apps that you should have on your Shopify store, A-B testing, and Ultimate Special Offers is one of these. So uh, this guide is 50 bucks. If anybody has any interest in it, uh, I will drop that link in the description box below and I'll give away two free copies um, I got to figure out, I think I can create a promo code for hundred percent off. So, so the first two people who see this video and use the code, will get that, that guide, uh, completely free. So two of them up for grabs and I might start doing this in regular videos. So stay tuned. If you're the first person to catch a video and you get the code, uh, you will get uh, free access to this creating Shopify product pages that sell guide. Um, so let's go into ultimate special offers. So this app has been both my favorite app as well as the bane of my existence. Uh, it's been for a while. I was having a lot of problems with this. The app wasn't working. It was glitching. Um, I, I run three different Shopify stores and I've noticed in the past, one of the problems was when I would hop between stores, the app wouldn't realize that I changed stores. So if I was in a completely different store and I use the ultimate special offers app, uh, to update a deal or a special, it would affect another store that I wasn't even logged into. Uh, so there were some problems I had early on. I've gone back and forth with their support a lot and uh, everything for, you know, knock on wood for the past six or eight months has been running pretty smoothly. Now, one of the one of my biggest issues with Shopify, right? Like I love Shopify. Shopify is a game changer. It's an amazing platform. It allows uh, people like you and me who may not be web designers, who may not know how to code, uh, maybe who even people who are new to e-commerce. It allows them to set up a well-functioning, streamlined e-commerce store. Uh, very quickly, and that's amazing. Uh, but Shopify isn't perfect, and one of my big beefs with Shopify is there are a lot of features that, in my opinion, are pretty basic e-commerce features that Shopify is lacking. You know, if you're going to be an e-commerce platform, uh, I don't mind paying extra for apps for premium services, premium apps, etc. Uh, but I do think that there's some basic features that you shouldn't need a third-party app for, you shouldn't need to pay for. And when you start having to use third-party apps for everything, not only does it get expensive because you're having to pay for all these apps, uh, but you know, a lot of times things can get glitchy, apps can kind of interact with each other. Um, and so that's one of my beefs with Shopify. With Shopify, you're allowed to create one automatic discount. So I'm talking if you're logged into Shopify and you go to the discounts tab natively within Shopify, you can have one automatic discount. So I want to offer $5 off this essential oil that I'm selling. When somebody adds that to their cart and goes to checkout, it automatically removes the $5. Beyond that one automatic uh, deal that you're allowed to offer at one time, you can have as many promo codes as you want. I personally hate promo codes. Uh, people forget to enter them. People you know, may hear about your sale, but may not know about the promo code. It just creates a lot of confusion and a lot of headaches. So I prefer to have automatic deals. And another problem that I have with Shopify is that on product pages, it doesn't tell people unless you get another third party app to notify, to put like a tag on a product to show BOGO 50 or BOGO deal. 
uh, your actual Shopify product pages don't actually notify people of the deal that you're running. And that's one of the things that I like about Ultimate Special Offers is you have the option to put a ban. You know, if I'm running a, a deal on my peppermint essential oil, uh, I can put a, a green banner across, or I guess any color, I can put a banner across the top of that product. So when somebody lands on that product page, it'll let them know 10% off or whatever else. So uh, this is an all-in-one sales app. It has pretty much any type of promotion you want to run, including upsells. Uh, it's very easy to install and it's very easy to use. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys kind of a quick look at this. Uh, so, you know, this is kind of what your dashboard will look like after you have deals enabled. If you want to create a new special offer, you just click up here, create new special offer, and it'll bring you to a page where you set that all up. Uh, if I wanted to disable an offer, let's say like I'm changing up sales or I'm running a holiday sale and I want to turn off one of my regular volume discounts, I just click actions and there'll be a button to disable it. One of the cool things, in addition to just running like special event sales and things like that, uh, you can have volume deals. So with the example I gave of, you know, I sell a peppermint essential oil. Uh, I can set up a volume deal on that page. So maybe my essential oil sells for $10 a piece. When you buy two or more, they go down to $9 a piece. When you buy three or more, it goes down to $8 a piece. And so you can offer those types of discounts as well. So here you can see we got straight discounts. We got volume deals, which would be what I just explained. Uh, there's a goal, which would be, you know, spend $100, get a free, you know, you spend $100 on my essential oils, I give you a free oil diffuser. Uh, there's a bulk deal, which actually, I don't know if I've used the bulk deal. Uh, you got BOGO, which can be buy one, get one free, buy one, get one 50% off. Uh, you can create bundles. So, you know, if you buy my peppermint essential oil and my, what's another, cedar wood essential oil, uh, you get a better price. Uh, you can have the gifts, which is either buy an item from this specific collection, get a free gift, or it can be spend a certain amount of money, get a free gift. Um, and then we have upsells, which is you buy my uh, essential peppermint oil, and once you get to the actual cart page, it's going to give you a pop-up and ask if you want to buy a portable oil diffuser or something like that. Uh, so that's kind of what the, the main you know page looks like on your app on the back end of your Shopify store. Uh, this is what it looks like when you uh, set up a deal. You know, you'll just type in uh, the name of the deal. I normally mark mine by the date. Uh, just because a lot of the, you know, I, I probably have 40 to 50 of these deals running all the time. So I mark mine by date so I can kind of find it easier uh, later on down the road. And again, here is just where you would select if you want a BOGO, a bulk deal, a bundle, a discount, a goal, a gift, an upsell, uh, or a volume deal. Um, it's pretty easy to set up. You literally select, you know, if we were doing a BOGO deal, buy one. Uh, and then we can select either the product or an entire collection. And then below that, the next trigger will be what the free item is or what the discounted item is. Um, let's see, what do we got here? So this is a BOGO offer, and this is kind of just a little bit lower on, lower down on that page. Uh, when you buy the peppermint essential oil, you get the 77 table. Oh, you know, okay, I'm sorry. So this is the trigger. When they do this action, they get this item, and then you can do like a new price, a percentage off. You can set that up however you like. You can apply an offer limit, uh, which is, you know, you can only get one of these. You know, if we're doing a BOGO, buy one, get one free deal. Somebody can only use it one time. Uh, you have the option of putting that banner on the top of the page uh, or not putting the banner on the top of the page. And there's another kind of cool setting in here that if you don't want people, let's say you got a, a promo code out there for 20% off, you can set up ultimate special offers so that native Shopify promo codes don't work. So if you don't want somebody to be able to take advantage of a BOGO deal plus do a 20% off, uh, you can set it up that way as well. Uh, you can change the appearance of the app. Um, what is this? Okay, and this kind of shows, uh, this is like the actual checkout page on the store, um, and it kind of shows people what deals they've taken advantage of with each product on the page. Um, this right here looks like an upsell, so it looks like if somebody bought a table, uh, they're offered, hey, do you want to buy any of these chairs to go with the table? And it looks like that's kind of the end of their little summary. Like I said, this, uh, Actually, okay, I, I thought they had a free package. I guess they don't have a pre free package. They have a, a $19 a month package, and it goes up to $99 a month. Um, I use the, I believe I use the $29. Yeah, I believe I use the $29 a month plan. Um, but yeah, you know, this app has been, like I said, it's been the bane of my existence. It's driven me crazy. Uh, but unfortunately, it's, it's also the best option that I found out there. And after working with support over a period of months, everything has been working pretty flawlessly on my store. Uh, this app used to be, you know, uh, owned by some company and then they wound up selling it off to Pixel Union. Uh, 
I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably, you may not know it, but I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably used something by Pixel Union. Uh, the Out of the Sandbox uh, Shopify themes, you know, the Portland, and I think there might be a Chicago one and like a Tokyo. Uh, they're some of the most popular uh, Shopify themes out there. Most of the larger, uh, more serious Shopify stores out there are using one of these themes. It's like one of the most used Shopify themes. Uh, the people who own Ultimate Special Offers also own that one. Uh, Pixel Union also has a, a lot of other apps and things like that as well. Again, they're the people who are behind this one. But uh, like I said, I've been getting hit up from a lot of people who are, you know, hey, I'm trying to figure out how to offer this upsell. I'm trying to, to figure out how to, how to offer some type of deal. And Shopify's native discount uh, options are, are pretty limited. And that's kind of a shortfall of Shopify. Like I said, you would think an e-commerce platform should at the very least offer a number of ways to, to run sales. That's kind of a basic feature to e-commerce. Unfortunately, Shopify lacks that, which means we have to go through third-party apps. Uh, but this is one of the best ones I found for doing this. I played around with Bold and a couple others. Uh, nothing has worked as well or, or has the variety of deals and discounts that I need. Uh, like ultimate special offers. So if any of you guys are looking for an app that does these types of things, I'd highly recommend it. I will link to this down in the description box below. If any of you guys don't have uh, Shopify stores already, I believe Shopify's 90 day trial uh, is still going on. Uh, they extended the trial from 14 days to 90 days during this pandemic, and I believe that's still active. So I'll drop my link down below. You got three months to uh, three months of a free trial to play around with creating your own Shopify store. Uh, and again, I'll be putting a promo code in the description box below. The first uh, two people who take advantage of that promo code uh, will get free access to creating Shopify product pages that sell. That's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button down below and I'll catch you guys on the next video.